Here's how to get a chocobo in Final Fantasy 16. As you progress through the game's story, you'll eventually finish a main story quest called Release that will take you back to Martha's Rest. As soon as this quest is completed and you exit Martha's Tavern, you'll see a green side quest marker with a plus sign on it. This will lead you to Rowan, a traveling trader who will tell you about a brave chocobo named Whiteheart who defends travelers from bandits. Unfortunately, the bandits are fed up with this chocobo hero and have cornered it in the nearby by marshes. So accept this mission from Rowan and you'll begin the White Winged Wonder side quest. Now head towards the green marker and you'll come across a white feather and may have to clear out some nearby enemies. Keep making your way towards the green marker to find the bandits that have White Heart and her herd of chocobos surrounded. Thankfully, they're just a bunch of lame bandits, and you're a main character of a Final Fantasy game that possesses the power of actual friggin' gods. So you should be able to make short work of them. If you have Flames of Rebirth unlocked through Phoenix, you could use that to decimate most of the lesser enemies in this fight. After you kill the bandits, another wave of enemies will arrive, which will include Harrier Hounds and a Huntsman wielding a giant axe. The Huntsman is an elite enemy who's a bit tougher than the others, but not Nothing too difficult. Just dodge his axe attacks and use your various icon abilities to stagger him. At this point, you'll have access to three different icons, so you should be able to chain together a bunch of different elemental attacks. Keep hitting this dummy with cool icon moves until he goes down. Afterwards, you'll discover that this is no ordinary chocobo. In fact, it's your old chocobo Ambrosia from your teenage years that apparently learned to be a hero from your own heroic deeds. Because because you're just so cool. Rowan will stop by, and from Ambrosia's various quiz, it'll be assumed that she wants to become your steed once again. So she'll be fitted with a saddle, as well as a solid snake-esque eye patch, and you'll now be able to ride her while you're wandering out in the field. To do that, just press and hold down on the R3 button to call her, and then press X to mount her. A few things to keep in mind about riding Ambrosia. You can't ride her in towns or during main story quests, so don't don't think you could just go into huge boss fights riding a chocobo. You can make her dash with the right trigger, rein her in with the left trigger. She could perform a very light attack that doesn't do a lot of damage. And when she jumps, she can hover a bit, which I really haven't found much use for, but I don't know, hovering's fun. And there you go. Now you have your very own white chocobo to ride, which will make your trips to murder mobs of enemies go by a whole lot quicker. For more gaming news and guides, be sure to check out thegamer.com. I'm Jamie Latour with The Gamer, and thanks for watching.